welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia, and today I'm going to give you guys some book recommendations. And yes, I'm in a different spot. I got a ring light for Christmas, so now I can move and I don't have to film right by my bedroom window. Yeah, fun. We're moving around. Okay, and if you're wondering, no, I drink, don't drink coffee. I drink hot chocolate, and I love it so much. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So the first book slash book series is The Chronicles of Narnia. Highly suggest. Um, I, I'm assuming you know what this book is because it's all over the Christian world about C.S. Lewis is an amazing author, Christian author. And he really incorporates a lot of Christian concepts into this series and it's really good for a lot of ages and as you get older, if you reread it when you get older, I promise you, you'll really understand the depth of this book that this book and the series has. So good. Anyway, highly suggest Chronicles of Narnia. I don't want to tell you too much about the plot line because it kind of gives a lot of spoilers away. So yeah, good book though. <laughs> Highly suggest. Even if you're not a gymnast, highly suggest this. It's Grace Gold and Glory, My Leap of Faith by Gabrielle Douglas. Gabby Douglas, the gymnast, love her. And even if you're not a gymnast, like I'm not a gymnast now, this is my sister's book. They got it from their gymnastics days. But it's good because she shares her testimony about how she came from where she was, about how God was faithful in her life growing up. And really, it's just a good testimony book, and I highly suggest picking it up, and it makes you want to try gymnastics. So next book is Live on Purpose by Sadie Robertson. This is technically a devotional, but I really do love it because of its amazing, like, purpose. The book basically is... 100 Devotions for Letting Go of Fear and Following God. It's about being able to follow God's calling for you, follow it like without being afraid and like wholeheartedly. And it's a couple, it's really good devotions for doing that, which I think we all need to learn how to let go of a lot more things and follow God. Okay, next book is High Hurdles. I guess I had to look at the title. High Hurdles by Lorraine, Lorraine Snelling yeah okay well <laughs> it's a really good book about this girl named dj randall she she obviously is a horse girl if you can tell by the thing and i read this book when i was going through my horse stage and i have yet to finish it but i really do want to this is volume one there's two volumes and they each have like four or five books in them combined and it's just a really good book and it's christian based about her and it Every book is a different journey of hers. The first book I know is more about her trying to get a horse and starting her love and her working in barns to make money to get horses. Her mom is single so she wants to help out in the house. It's basically her daily life and then there come some pretty cool twists and turns throughout these books. I wouldn't say it's like a thriller but it's really cute and good if you want to pick up just a little like light slash thick read but cute story really like it next book we're getting down to is the power of habit by charles duhigg i'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong apologies um but i've talked about this i think in a different video of mine like my habit video because i was reading it at that time it took me a really long time to finish because i like fantasy and fun books and this wasn't that but it's a really good self-help book like really help me understand more about habits how to break bad ones and how to get good ones like how to imply them and make them stick in your daily life so really suggest highly it's a really good self-help book you really got to push through it though and remember that it's a self-help book not a fictional book which didn't wrap around my mind when i was reading it next book is goldie i was actually gifted this by a friend and it makes me so happy to look at it because it reminds me of her you know who you are out there hopefully you're watching this video <laughs> anyway so it's an amazing book i don't really know how to describe it so i'm going to read the back of it the goldie stories are threads of the greatest love story ever told woven together with fabric we find ourselves a part of connected by our breath and the 
beating of our hearts, like strokes of a golden paintbrush. They are glimpses into the ordinary and the wonder of the great storyteller. This book magnifies the power of his stories and reminds us the power of ours. It's a beautiful Christian book about different perspectives of people in the Bible, and it just makes them feel more close to us, like more relatable. Um, and it's really good, and I would highly suggest like adding this on to your quiet time routine if you have time, like a Sunday, like an ex, an ex, like an extended quiet time routine. Read a chapter of this, short chapters, so good, so worth it. Um, this is actually a library book. Um, one thing that I have to mention now that I've talked about libraries is utilize your library if you have one get a library card if you don't because they're so good and when the panorama you know all that jazz started it was hard for me to like read books because I read most of the books my mom had bought in for me or that was there and when I was younger I couldn't really buy books for myself or anything like that so and the library is a good option if you don't know like if a book is good or not you want to like just like temporarily you know do it just to see if you like it amazing and then if you really like it you can buy it or even like buy one to give to your friends okay anyway moving on to this book it's called staying stylish by cameras Cam candace cameron bray she's an actor i don't know if you heard her from like full house and fuller house my mama actually used to watch full house and then we started watching it and it's it's kind of fun to see that but this book is like style give you styles like advice and like also she gives you daily advice and just really good plain <laughs> advice and I love fashion so I loved reading this book and getting some really cool inspiration okay so the next book not everyone is gonna love this book but I am currently reading it if you saw it in my last like my night routine video I think it's a video ago I was reading Little Woman by Lewis May Alcott Alcott Anyway, love these classical books. They make me, they like bring me back to this timeline. This time where this book is set is like my favorite in history. I love it and I love reading these stories and my family actually has four sisters and we all kind of like have the same like, um, what's the word? Personalities as these girls. So. It's really fun, and if you're guessing which personality I correspond myself to is Amy, read the book if you want to figure it out. But this book follows four sisters who um, grow up together and move on in their life. Um, their names are Joe, Amy, Beth, and what's the other one? I feel like Meg. I was going to say Mary, but it's Meg. I knew that. <laughs> anyway, favorite book, highly Highly recommend if you like these slow classic classic books, basically. Well, next series uh, is the Anne of Green Gables by Montgomery. Highly suggest these books, of course. They follow Anne, a orphan girl who gets adopted in this first book. The first book she gets adopted and we watch her grow up throughout the series. Amazing, she has so much spunk and life to her. Um, in this like old kind of basic, not basic, but boring town I would say, she comes in and gives this town life and love and it's so fun to watch her, sto her story. Yeah, highly recommend, so fun. Last book, book book, is Live Originally by Sadie Robertson. I suggest all of her books. I've read her Live Fearlessly book also. I'll put like a picture up here. Live Faithfully good book as well as well as live her like live basically series love this one haven't read it yet super super excited to she's talking about being your own person as i understand it and being originally you and unapologetically you so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to comment down below like any book rub it recommendations you have for me because like I said I want to read two books a month so that's a lot of reading and I need a lot of books to read so I'd love to pick up a couple of your guys's favorites so comment down below and make sure to subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything but it costs me joy bye friends